why do we choose a particular community or practice? What are the motivations, motives, factors behind this choice? This will be the topic of this part. The interest and need to be member of a COP depend on class, age, ethnicity, and sex, being male and female. So these factors demand, for example, our age. We are teenagers. We want to be part of a COP of teenagers. We want to be member of a COP for playing, for uh, other activities, social activities. Our language group, we are Punjabi. We would like to be part of Punjabi COP and so on. Working class people, they are likely to become members of unions and neighborhoods. Now see, this desire, this need, this interest of COP is also related with our social class. If we belong to working class people, lower than middle class, if society is class based and often societies are class based, including ours. So if we belong to working class people, so we are likely to become members of COPs like unions and neighborhood are neighborhood councils, neighborhood groups of elders, etc. Upper class people, they would like to join golf clubs, professional groups, etc. Men are more. Now, if we take sex as a factor of choosing COP, then men are more likely to be members of football teams, members of armies, and women would like to be members of informal schools. They can tuition in informal schools without any payment, just for social service, community service. They would like to join them, or they would like to work for some NGOs doing again the same thing, social service, etc. So they would like to join such COPs. The level of participation in community practices and socialization, how much we are involved in the practices of a COP and how much we learn, how much we are socialized into the ways of that COP, it would help us to see interaction of gender with class with age, with ethnicity, and with power. So we conclude that we participate in social practices, social activities, in other words, through multiple COPs. The participations are differential. In some COPs, we are more involved. In, in others, we are less involved. Are we are more involved as men or we are more involved as women. This is differential participation. And construct identities through discourse, through interaction, through talk, conversation in these COPs. This is a two-way process. Two-way process of transformation. We become member of a COP to construct our identity. And on the other hand, because of our involvement in the COP, there may be change in the structure, in values, and in practices of the COP itself. So this is a mutual relationship of transformation.